The European Foundation for South Asia Studies, EFSAS, has warned in its report titled CPAC, an unfair deal for common Pakistanis, that Pakistan's growing dependence on China for development projects, such as a $62 billion economic corridor under the Belt and Road Initiative, could turn Islamabad into a colony that will see it looking to Beijing for its day-to-day -day survival. The CPAC, which India has objected to because it passes through Gilgit Baltistan, aims to link Wadar port with Xinjiang and create a network of rail lines and highways, industrial zones and power plants. What we have seen in our, in our research is that uh, the common people of Pakistan are kept very much in the dark about what this uh, CPAC actually entails. When you look at the numbers, you can see that, for example, the trade deficit between Pakistan and China between 2012 and 2017 has more than tripled from 4 billion to almost 12.9 billion. Um, how, did, how, how did that happen? You know, when so much money is being pumped in from uh, China's side, why is there such a big trade deficit? Chinese funds are coming at a very high cost, which will inevitably impose long-term negative repercussions on Pakistan's ability to pay back. For instance, if looking at electric power projects, which constitute the biggest share of the CPAC portfolio because Pakistan experiences its greatest deficiencies in this sector, indeed, those electric power projects might diminish the electric power shortfall in the upcoming years. However, this will happen at the very, very high price, especially when taking into account regional competitors. The much-touted CPAC project is witnessing an opposition by the people of Pakistan and Gilgit Baltistan. There are accusations of acquiring private lands without paying dues to the people. We feel that all the provinces and of course the people including in these uh, disputed territories like Gilgit Baltistan are not happy with uh, the CPAC because it, isn't, it, it is using their resources but they are not getting anything back for it. Uh, a lot of land has been grabbed in order to build roads and, and, and rail networks. These people have been given rates, which is far, far below uh, the market rate. Um, the people, uh, their resources in Gilead Baltistan, for example, like glaciers, waters, everything is being used and uh, they are not getting appropriate rates because they have not been part of the decision-making process. So a few things, transparency, uh, part making uh, the people part of a uh, decision-making process, letting the common people of Pakistan know what it actually means for them and at what cost is coming. And Pakistan should also be very, very wary about the fact that it does not turn into a colony of China. China has taken advantage of Pakistan's isolation on the global stage because of allegations of sponsoring terrorism. And this patronizing attitude will only turn Pakistan into a colony which will always require China for its day-to-day -day survival.